Hi, I'm Bupesh Malhotra with a video walkthrough of yet another feature of Active Report Server, creating logical data models. Logical data models help us to provide technical data from the database in a structure that business users will be able to relate to when creating their own sophisticated reports. For example, we can rename fields to names business users are familiar with, or we can organize data in business entities that the users are familiar with, such as entities they use in an application instead of using the database's normalized table structure. To manage these logical data models in Active Report Server, we go to our admin dashboard and go to Models. To add a new data model, a wizard gets us started when we press the Generate link. In the first step, we need to provide the connection details to the database which we want to use for generating the new data model. Once connected to the database, Active Report Server provides a list of tables and views which we can choose to include in the data model. We will choose to select all of them. At this time, Active Report Server does a statistical analysis of various aspects of the data in the table and views that have been selected. This is to create a data model which can provide us with a good starting point to further configure it to your specific business requirements. Let's have a look at the generated data model. You can see that all of the relations are already defined for you. Some entities have been determined to be bridge tables and thus have been hidden. These are a couple of aspects among many configurations that the data model generator pre-configures for you in the new data model. At this point, you can go ahead and do more specific configurations, add more attributes, entities, or logical relations based on your business requirements and how the business users perceive the information in the database. Let's go through a couple of examples. Let's say that the line of business application that the business users use abbreviates the birth date of the employee as DOB. We can change that here so that the users see the familiar name for the attribute in the report designer. Here is an example of an entity that shows up due to database normalization. DBAs and programmers use data normalization to reduce repeated data. However, it can make the data more difficult to understand for our business users. So Active Report Server has a couple of ways to help with this problem. One way is to use the add attribute from related entity. Let's add one for the category lookup in the product entity. Start by adding the attribute and selecting to use a related entity. We will choose the category name and specify what we want to call the new attribute. Next, let's hide the relation to the category from the product entity and also hide the entity itself. This will effectively show the category name as part of the product entity to the business user and hide the category entity from the entity list completely. Now, let's go to the report designer and take a look at the business user's view of the data model we just created and the customizations we just completed. We can see that the birth date is available under the employee entity as DOB. Here is the category name attribute that we added to the product entity, and we don't see the category entity in our list because we hid it. Requirement-specific customizations like these provide the business users with familiar business-friendly views for their reporting instead of trying to make sense of the underlying database. The admin dashboard is a place where the IT admin can configure Active Report Server based on the specific business requirements, starting with the data model generator and making changes to make the data model business specific. The data model editor ensures the business users see familiar information structures when creating their reports. That's just some of what Active Report Server can do for you. I'm Bupesh Mulhotra. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Grape City.